uh, new year, but uh, um, what do you see as trying to let people know what the Big Ten season is like now that it's kicking back in? You know, you're coming off a break, especially some of the younger guys. Juwan, I'll, I'll, I'll just give this one to you. Uh, what do you try and tell them about what's coming up? Uh, I say it's going to be the hardest stretch of basketball they have to play. Um, it's just going to be just as mental as it is physical. Um, just each and every game, it'll, it'll never be easy. I, say, I told them don't expect anything to really just come to you. You got to go and take it. To, to kind of go off that, um, with this first month, a lot of those games are going to be on the road, I think, after Illinois 6 of 8 or away from here. Uh, I guess with that, I guess is there a, I guess a mental sense of what it takes to actually go on the road and, and handle a, a big attendance as, that's as up as it is right now? Uh, definitely. I tell them uh, you have to go and do it. what we practice every day. You know, don't go in, uh, you can't go on the road and do something that you haven't done every day. Uh, we have to play the same way we do at home and bring our own energy at, on the road. I guess for either of you guys, ask Coach just too, but what do you feel like you got out of that stretch in November, December, where you won a lot of close games, won a game on the road, won a game on a neutral floor, and what maybe lessons from that stretch are going to be most important here as you resume conference play? Let's go Evan and then um, I think winning close games like that just builds toughness uh, moving forward. Um, being in those situations, it's something you can't really simulate in practice. So I think it's good when we've been in so many of those close games to. Uh, I don't know, just have that experience moving forward is will help us down the road and in Big Ten and then hopefully in March too. Yeah, and just echoing off that and just pretty much it just builds character for us going forward because um, a lot of the games are going to end up being close. It just is what it is. The Big Ten is just great from top to bottom this year. And so um, just having those under our belt already, we know how to operate in those situations. For either of you guys, with Devontae getting the gold jersey in practice recently, what's kind of stood out about you know, his performances in practice, I guess, and, and what he's done to, to sort of earn that? Um, yeah, I mean, I think the gold jersey, a lot of it is uh, your offensive stats, and he's obviously a really good player offensively, but um, I think he brings brings some stuff defensively as well. He's really quick and can stay in front of the ball, so um, just having him continue to improve is, will help our team moving forward, for sure. Oh, uh, yeah. Tay's just, I think he's one of the most laterally quick people I've ever met. And just uh, his hands are so quick, just being able to get steals on ball and off ball, being able to be in the right position. And uh, I know he gambles sometimes, but just getting him to stay, I guess, sound and be able to be in the right position. And as quick as he is, he can recover if he is out of position a little bit. But I think just getting him to stay within the principles will do a lot for our team. Uh, Jordan, what's the biggest key? guys with Rob being out for, for a little while here, like Coach said earlier? Um, <clears throat> well, I think it really, uh, it falls on the whole team, but I think more so on like Al and Devontae, just because they're the main ones handling the ball. And I just think um, them taking the approach with pride and just uh, every day in practice, you know, not turning the ball over, being real uh, key on that, those things and just running the team. And then I think for as far as us, for the bigs and everything, just um, doing everything we can to help the guards out when it comes to like screens, blocking out, uh, getting all the 50-50 balls around the paint, just things like that, helping them out. You get a lot of praise locally and nationally for how you played in November and December. I'm just curious, is that your best two months of basketball in your mind? Uh, I think it's up there. Uh, I really think I just try to get better from month to month, you know, just keep trying to stack good games and good practices and just get better and better. So I don't think it will be my best ever, but I think it's up there. Yeah, and uh, last one for me, but Evan, just, I wanted to get your thoughts on, on Juwan. You played with and against a lot of good players in your time in college. What stood out about his play in November and December the most to you? Um, yeah, I mean, just being, being a leader, um, how hard he plays every game and really every practice, like we see it every day. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been pretty impressive to see. Um, he's definitely probably best, if not one of the best players in all college basketball, in my opinion, um, just watching watching the different teams and stuff this year. So, um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's fun to play with. It's fun to have a guy like that on your team. And um, hopefully, you know, I know he'll continue to do what he's been doing moving forward. So, Coach, describe playing Illinois as a rock fight. How do you prepare for a game like that against a team that's looking to muddle it up as much as they can? Uh, you almost can't prepare for a team like that. You just have to uh, 
deliver the first blow, I guess. You know, um, they're going to get in there. They're going to try to muddy everything up. Uh, they're a real intense team. Uh, and when you play a team like that, you have to be able to run things. And you also have to be able to have a play get broken up and make something of it. So I think just that will be the key, just making sure we stay, uh, I guess, calm and confident in what we do. And even if a play uh, breaks down, like we can't get frazzled and just pick up the ball or just throw it away. I think that will come uh, down on guys like me and Evan and Devontae just, you know, having been in big games before, just showing the younger guys that it'll be frantic. It'll be a very hectic game, but you just got to stay sound. Anything else, please, guys? I mean, probably Al. Al, definitely yeah, Al. <laughs> Um, just that it's a great place, you know, all the, the people around in the city really support IU Athletics, and uh, yeah, I think she's, she's going to love it here, so um, just getting to know Coach Arid, too, has been, uh, he's a great guy, passionate guy, I think he's really going to do well for the volleyball program. All right, guys, thanks. Thank you.